The Grand Inga Dam, located in Western Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, on the Congo River, is the world's largest proposed hydropower scheme. It is a series of seven proposed hydroelectric power stations at the site of the Inga Falls, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The project would be located across the Congo River, approximately 150 kilometers upstream of where the river empties into the Atlantic Ocean. The massive dam is part of a greater vision by the international economic community to develop a power grid across Africa that will spur the continent's industrial economic development. The project would involve building a dam across the south of the Bundy River Valley, where it meets the Congo, then diverting the Congo from above the waterfalls into the north of the valley to create a huge reservoir. It is anticipated that the vertical drop, the volume and velocity of water flow at this site, can support a series of hydroelectric power stations. each with generation capacity ranging from 4 to 8 gigawatts for a total of 40 gigawatts for the whole complex. Ingarum 3 power station with capacity of 4.8 gigawatts would be the first power station in the series to be constructed. The current design allows for the independent development of the different power stations in the series, as well as the phased development of each station. Each of the seven dams could be owned by different investors. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Africa faces a huge energy gap that has contributed to slow economic development and poverty. On the other hand, Africa has a huge potential for all forms of energy, hydropower, solar, wind, and fossil fuel energy. The proponents of the Grand Inga project, mainly African governments and development organizations, consider hydropower to be clean, renewable energy. They have put forward arguments that the Grand Inga Hydropower Scheme will provide cheaper and readily available energy and allow Africa's industrial and manufacturing industry to take off. In addition, the project is promoted as being good for promoting peace in the region and for the environment. However, a number of concerns that include environmental and social impacts of this project have not yet been addressed and all energy options are still to be explored. In May 2013, the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC, announced that construction of the world's largest hydroelectric project will begin in October 2015. Upon completion, according to the DRC, the project will bring electricity to half the African continent. The project is a colossal $80 billion enhancement of the existing 351 megawatts Inga 1 and 1,424 megawatts Inga 2 plants, which were completed in 1972 and 1982, respectively. With funding from South Africa, the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and others, the $80 billion Grand Inga Hydroelectric Project will construct a 4 to 4,000 megawatt dam anchored to a new transmission network able to distribute electricity to all four of Sub-Saharan Africa's regional electricity power pools. The ultimate goal is to construct a complex capable of energy supply for the entire Sub-Saharan region with a cumulative output capacity 42 gigawatts electricity generation. Upon completion, the project would be the world's largest power plant and would generate more than the world's two biggest hydropower plants, Three Gorges in China and Idepu in South America, combined. The project has been estimated to cost $80 billion, including cost of the transmission, lies needed to carry its power across Africa and potentially to Europe. Notably, the $80 billion price tag is just an estimation, which is likely to be much more a figure that will need robust power purchase agreements to establish investor confidence. Ingerron 3 is currently in the design phase, with the ultimate design and size being a subject of significant debate. The construction of the successive phases of Grand Ingo will hinge on availability of a market and funding for the projects. Now the success of Inger Roman 3, 
which is in the design phase, and the construction of the successive phases, hinge on the availability of market interest and funding for the projects. Since the DRC current power demand is only at around 4,200 megawatts, the strategy is to become a power exporter to the region. In June 2020, the government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo resolved to present the project to the regional heads of state and explore the market on the continent for the power generated. They have recruited the African Union and the New Partnership for Africa's development in their efforts to get the power station built. In August 2020, a delegation of German investors visited Kinshasa looking at investment opportunities in the Democratic Republic of Congo's DRC, energy and railway transport sectors. The business representatives showed interest in eight potential railway corridors, which are fundamental for the DRC economic development. But the big investment target lies in the Inger Rum 3 Dam. After years of delays caused by difficulties in securing funding, German and European Union-led financing could finally see the project take off. The Grand Inga Dam project, touted as having the potential to supply green electricity to most of Africa has received a fresh boost after Australian mining company Fortescue Metals Group confirmed its alliance with the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC, to invest in the development of the world's largest hydroelectric project in Africa. Australian mining magnate Andrew Forrest is taking his newfound zeal for renewable energy to the Democratic Republic of Congo. The founder and chairman of $54 billion Fortescue Metals has persuaded President Felix Tshisekedi to let his company lead development of hydroelectric power stations to generate as much as 40 gigawatts, or more than double China's Three Gorges complex. It's part of his fledgling drive to turn fossil fuel-free hydrogen into a $12 trillion global market by 2050. This African plan, however, borders on green megalomania. The dream of turning the waterway into a huge energy hub, known as Grand Inga, is decades old. Companies including BHP and Spain's Activitades de Construcción y Servicios have had a crack at it before retreating. Political risk is a big factor, and the project could cost $80 billion, according to estimates several years ago. The original idea of transporting power via cables to South Africa and elsewhere on the continent is also inefficient. Big dams are generally a fool's errand, wreaking havoc on wildlife and water and soil quality, affecting farming. Their reservoirs increase evaporation too, though the Congolese project would exploit a large vertical drop at the Inga Falls and therefore require less storage. And within Africa, wind and solar power is quicker and cheaper to build. Forest's green enthusiasm is to be applauded, even if Fortescue is still developing a carbon-spewing gas-fired power station in Australia. It should not, however, ignore less bombastic alternatives. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification.